Being a famous superstar definitely comes with many advantages, but sometimes you just get tired of being known everywhere you go. Footballers know a lot about this, and that's why some of them have been trying to wear disguises in order to go around unnoticed. Here are seven incidents when footballers disguise themselves in public. Number one, Hakimi and Mbappe in New York. Paparazzi in the US are not something to be joked with, so if you're going there as a famous person and you don't want all that attention, make sure to have your full disguise on. And the PSG duo Hakimi and Mbappe understood this, so they went there fully ready for their little holiday. After they both made it to the final round of games at the World Cup, the PSG boss decided to give the boys some time off at the beginning of the year, and they decided to use that time to visit the States. They were fully covered up with masks, turtlenecks, hoodies, and hats. They really didn't want to take any chances, and it seemed to have worked perfectly because look at them just doing normal things in New York without anyone going crazy. And these guys seem to have really enjoyed their time in New York. Look at them taking a picture in front of the H&M building. And in case you didn't notice what they did there, per their initials, they are both H and M. Number two, Cristiano Ronaldo as a homeless man. Ronaldo is one of the most recognizable faces in the world. He's the most followed human on Instagram after all. So if he's going to wear a disguise, it needs to be good. And very good it was when he did it in Madrid back in 2015. CR7 was disguised as a homeless man. He had on a fake beard, a padded suit, artificial hair, sunglasses, the lot. And it worked because nobody was able to recognize this homeless guy who was just playing around with the ball on the street. And Ronaldo played his part perfectly. He even asked a lady for her phone number for effect and she didn't even give him an audience. If only she had known. Anyway, this little boy comes over to play with the homeless man and Ronaldo then decided to reveal himself and give the little boy the signed football. Surely that didn't only make the little boy's day, it probably made his entire life. When Ronaldo revealed himself, everybody went nuts. There's no way anybody at the Plaza del Calao would have guessed that that homeless man was CR7. But this next guy didn't do as well with his disguise as Ronaldo. Number 3. Ronaldinho as a cop In what seems like it could have been a Pepsi ad, Ronaldinho disguised himself as a police officer, approached a group of young men and demanded the ball. He had a police uniform on with the shades and a hat, but it didn't take the boys long at all to figure out that that was Ronaldinho under the disguise and they were delighted at their discovery. Number 4. Shakiri as an old coach Back in 2015, Shakiri decided to prank some young footballers just for jokes, so he disguised as an old coach and drilled a Swiss youth team. He had on a padded suit, a full grey beard and a hat. It was all going very well at first, but the little boys began to suspect foul play when this old man was swinging very accurate long balls and scoring effortless free kicks. The cat was finally out of the bag when this supposedly elderly coach beat one of the young boys for pace and scored easily against the goalkeeper. Shakiri immediately ripped off his beard and the rest of his disguise and now it suddenly made sense to the Swiss boys. And of course, they were really pleased to have had the honour of being pranked by a true Swiss legend. Number 5. Ronaldo at a nightclub Yes, it's CR7 again. The Al Nasser forward once told a story of how he had to put on a disguise in order to go out to a nightclub and enjoy some personal time out with his friend Ricardo on New Year's Eve. Ronaldo told this to Piers Morgan during an interview back in 2019. Here's what he said. It was New Year's Eve and I spoke to Rick and said we have to go out. We have to do something at discotheque. It's New Year's Eve, we cannot stay home. He said, yeah, but we have to find somewhere to go. Let's put on a wig, a moustache, a jacket, something. So that they did and they headed out to the club. But it would appear that their disguise wasn't as good because they were figured out very, very easily. Ronaldo said, some guy behind us whispered, Cristiano, I know it's you. I thought, no way, this is impossible. That guy told everyone in the discotheque that I am Cristiano, so I felt like everyone in the discotheque was looking at me. We stayed there for like 2-3 hours before we went to sleep. It was one of the best nights I ever had. I felt free. Surely these superstar footballers would love to feel free just a few more times in their lives? Number 6. Rivaldo for Barcelona Rivaldo put on a disguise to join a group of Barcelona fans to play a friendly game. He came off the bench and just went on to do Rivaldo things on the pitch, dribbling, scoring and absolutely mesmerising his opponents. 
After the game, he was revealed as the man of the match and he stepped forward and took off his disguise to the surprise of the entire group. They had been playing with a superstar Ballon d'Or winner the entire time and they didn't even know it. And that disguise was really good because Rivaldo looked more like Andre Gomez than himself the entire time. Well, no surprises there. The makeup artist, Sarita Allison, is known for her work on productions like X-Men, Harry Potter and several Star Wars movies. Number 7. Ribery, Rafinha and Alaba prank at a local park Back in the day when these three were teammates at Bayern, they decided to visit a local park one day disguised as regular guys just to have a few laughs. A few guys came around to play against them while a crowd of people came to watch. At first the Bayern boys acted like they were terrible at football and then, boom, they turned the switch on and started bamboozling their opponents. After a few minutes of that, the pro ballers then unveiled themselves and then it all made sense to everyone. Surely they were thoroughly entertained that afternoon. Anyway, of all these guys who made this list, who would you say had the best disguise? Also, if you know more footballers who have put on a disguise at any time, whether for a prank or just to go out, let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on our new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.